What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the All Powers S1500 Portable Power Station. Taking a look at the specs, this has a 1092 watt hour lithium battery, a 1500 watt power handling with a 3000 watt peak, supports pass through charging, has Bluetooth app control, comes with a five year warranty and weighs 22 pounds. Taking a look inside the box, you get the manual, the AC charging brick, which comes in this very nice zipper bag, and then of course the unit itself. So taking a look at the power station itself, this is made of a nice and rugged plastic, and then you have a handle up top, which folds flush into the unit. There really isn't much going on design-wise, but this unit comes at a very affordable price for the specs it has, so as long as it performs well, that's definitely not a problem at all. So taking a look at the ports, you have four AC outlets up here on top. Then coming around to this side, you have three USB-A ports, a USB-C, which is also a power delivery 100 watt, which I always love seeing. And then you have two DC 12 volt ports. Coming around to this side, you have your DC input, which is the covers tightly on there. I'm just gonna leave it. Then you have two other inputs here as well for solar power and your AC charger. Coming back to the front, you also have two LED lights. They're pretty small, so honestly, they aren't very bright compared to other power stations I've tested, but they're still good enough to provide you with some emergency light if you do need it. So when charging the unit up with the included AC adapter, I got a maximum of 300 watts, which is pretty good as most included power adapters usually only do somewhere around 100 to 200 watts. I also have their folding 200 watt solar panel, and despite it not being too sunny outside, I still got a solid 130 to 140 watts of solar charging. As I said earlier, this power station also has a Bluetooth app, which allows you to remotely control and monitor the power station. This shows you its wattage being used, battery life remaining, and then all of your various controls for the unit as well. Overall, this is very handy, so you don't have to get up and check the unit itself, but can just check from your phone from the comfort of wherever you are. So moving on to the power handling test, units like this are always great to use outdoors. It's rated for 1200 watts, so obviously we can definitely charge all everyday tech items. So let's go ahead and charge up my phone. Got that right here. Let's go ahead and plug that into the USB at the side. All right, so that's charging at seven watts. You brought your drone out with you as well. You can go ahead and plug that in too. And if you brought your laptop out with you, not a problem at all as this power station does have a 100 watt USB-C port. So that means we can plug it in directly without even needing the power box. So say you're jamming out, you wanna hear some music while you're out here as well. Go ahead and plug in the radio. Maybe you brought your fan with you and it's getting kind of hot outside. So let's go ahead and plug in that as well. So all of that going at once, it looks like it's pulling a total of only 142 watts. And this power station has about 40% left. So you have two hours and 30 minutes remaining. So if this was at 100%, you'd be able to run all of this for about five hours. All right, so let's go ahead and try out some higher powered items. Right here, I have a space heater, which I use in my garage. I'm not sure the exact wattage, but I know it pulls definitely more than 1000 watts. Looks like it's pulling about 1200 watts. Seems to be handling it, no problem at all. So right now it says we have 18 minutes of runtime left, but the power station is only at 40%. So if this was full, you'd get somewhere around 50, 55 minutes running a large draw like this one. All right, so it's been running for about three minutes now and it doesn't seem to be shutting off. So it can definitely handle a 1200 watt draw, no problem at all. So all of this stuff doesn't really use much power. Right now I have the space heater going at uh, full blast. I have my Bluetooth radio charging. I have this fan running. I have my laptop charging. I have my phone charging and I have my drone charging. And this is all only pulling 1,282 watts. So very impressive that this little power station can handle all of this no problem at all and keep all of this going so very convenient if you're outdoors and you need some extra power to keep you going through the day definitely a great unit
All right, so while it didn't do very well in the capacity test, it definitely did great as far as power handling goes. So if you're looking for a nice and affordable unit with high power handling, this one here is definitely a solid option to consider. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.